Curse of the Dead Gods is a brand new isometric action roguelite that's recently came to Steam Early Access. In this game you play as an adventurer that's trapped in a lost temple and you'll need to pick a path, kill enemies and gain power to progress. Gameplay wise you'll need to time your dodges to avoid taking damage, you'll need to light your surroundings and use the environment to kill enemies without falling victim to the traps of the temple. As you progress you'll become more corrupted and eventually get random curses which are only removed when you defeat a boss. This is a game that you'll definitely die in multiple times but each run helps you unlock blessings that give you bonuses in future explorations. As of making this video Curse of the Dead Gods is currently sitting at 87% very positive reviews on Steam and this video is sponsored by the developers of the game so if you like what you see click the link in the description to buy the game or add it to your wish list. So WASD to move around your mouse dictates where you're facing left click to attack spacebar to dodge I've got five charges of dodge if I press number two this switches to my weapons a left click which is my sword attack if I hold the sword attack it does a big spinny ability and then I've got my right click, which is my gun. My person's not bothered in the slightest that he's trapped in this temple. So we've got a magical purple door that seems to be corrupting my person's arm or something. So now I need to choose which path I want to take. It seems as though I've got the choice between gold, stats, or gold. Lots of gold in this room, but we've also got a monster. Bait is attack that we dodge. Okay. Nice. Golden Mask. Gain 100% of damage taken in gold. Thing to set fire to. Oh! I can use this to scorch enemies by the looks of it. Okay, let's bait these guys. Come on, come on! Yes! Okay. We smart. We're using the invite. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Hey, I think I've bit off more than I can chew, probably. Okay, never mind. We brought it back. Thing, I can open more gold. Aggressive, 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 aggressive. Let's not let the enemy attack. Spooky ghost coming at me. Onwards we go. Next, what do I want? Gold mystery or this looks like a healing icon. I'll go away, monster. Dodge! I just realized I actually didn't heal going into this next area, so... I guess you really need to look after your health in this game. I'm guessing there's only certain conditions in which you have the opportunity to heal. Ooh, 230 gold and a relic. Claws of evisceration. <sighs> oh my god, that's good. Obviously, this here is some kind of spike trap that I'm not going to fall for. Haven. What's a haven? Okay, I'm guessing haven's like a safe area. Press E. Oh, it gives us health. Nice. So this seems to be a corruption bar that's slowly filling up at the end of every stage and it also filled up when I healed myself at the Haven. This is intense! Oh no, I'm corrupted. I don't know what that means. Oh, dodge. Oh, fucking hell. I'm taking so much damage now. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, this is intense. Come on, big damage. Big damage. Greed kill times seven. Special weapon. This restores 1% max health for each enemy killed. This seems pretty good considering healing has a cost in this game. I can offer blood, which I think gives me more corruption. So I'm just gonna buy this with gold. So now I have a number three, which is a big swinging mace thing. And you can charge it up for what's probably big damage. So our corruption bar filled to 100% and now we have what seems to be a curse. Regular enemies can spawn additional creatures when killed. Oh, okay. There's a trap. There's traps. Oh god, there's many traps. Oh, there's many traps. Everything's on fire. Run. Oh god, I'm out of dodge. Let's just wait here for a little bit. Oh, man. Jump. That was a lot of traps. Dodge! Oh my god, this weapon's so slow. Man, this is really hard. I'm having to think about every attack I make. 10% damage, gold find, or a bit of both. I'm just going so slowly throughout this level, I'm really nervous. Oh, oh god, there's a there's a bloody mini boss. Oh god, oh god. L like this. I want to see where I'm going. Oh my god, I'm just dodge. I'm just dodging right now. I'm just dodging. Oh god, I'm just... I don't know what to... Oh my god. Calm down, game. This thing that spawns the bats... Is bloody annoying. Removes one corruption for each enemy killed. This seems fantastic. Oh my god. I think I might just die in this room. Oh my god, I'm dead, surely. These bloody bats. 
honestly make this so hard. We're alive. We made it 11 HP. <laughs> and then we die to spikes. So now what? E. Oh, I see each run you can unlock different blessings for the next run. That's nice. So even if you do fail and don't make it to the end, it still feels like you're making progress. I like that a lot. Gain a thousand gold at the start of your exploration. Yes. All right, let's get a nice weapon early on. Right, aggressive. Aggressive and efficient. I'm gonna go for the claws again. It seems pretty good. Stop healing them. Oh, that's just dumped a lot of gold on the floor. Please don't give us an annoying corruption. Braziers will burn with a dark flame and cannot be lit. Oh, that's not too bad. Room with a bunch of little traps. I really like all of these hidden traps. It makes it feel like a real lost temple that you're exploring. Okay, we go for relic, then we go for heal. Lots of bad enemies. Well, dodge. Okay, starting to play with a bit more composure now and I'm timing my dodges. A lot better. So, dodge, dodge. We can go in for some attacks. Dodge, dodge. He's gonna miss. Okay, now we're playing the game. We're slowly overcoming the get good issues that I've been facing. Increase max stamina by one, that could be good. So now I can dodge six times, brilliant. No fighting in this round. So 200 health, that costs 10 corruption. Maybe we can just pull one monster at a time. Let's just pull this one. Oh my god, can you do that? Oh shit, no you cannot. Dodge here. Oh fuck. Well that was a trap. Back in for the boss. Okay, let's not get greedy. Why am I getting greedy? Don't get greedy, Craig. More corruption. Gold disappears on the ground after a short period of time but the amount of gold on the ground increases. That's okay. So this one kind of makes you speed run a little bit more, plus 20% all healing effects. So now we're gonna fight the champion. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get my ass handed to me here. Okay, so, okay, so he's got little, little ads. Oi, calm down, calm down, mate. Okay, so I need to dodge the gun attack, dodge this. Oh my God, this is hard. Okay, every time I kill the dogs, he just spawns more. We are going in. Oh my god, we did it. We actually did it. That was that was really pog. I love that I had the extra dodge there. I might not have been able to do it if not. And we get a bunch of skulls. Now we've escaped the temple, I guess. Victory! We won! We actually bloody won. That was genuinely fun. I've unlocked a bunch of new blessings but they cost a lot of skulls to unlock. While you're attacking, you take 50% less damage and damage does not interrupt you. That sounds really good. We go again. So that was just a short exploration what I've done. And then I've unlocked a medium exploration, Eclipse of the Cursed Twins. This weapon looks fantastic, deals a lot of damage, restores health, deals burning damage, and has extra damage in the light. I'm doing a lot of attacking with this spear to get all my health back. Oh, attacking with the spear actually consumes stamina. Let's go for another weapon. I need a main hand weapon. Okay, this spear is really strong. Okay, I've almost got all my health back. Removes corruption, which is something I'm definitely gonna need. And 1% base damage for dexterity. Let's offer gold for this. I'm feeling really good about this run. These weapons I've got are fantastic. Come on, 100% health. Yes, there it is. All right now, let's get rid of this corruption using my hammer. Barbed shield. And a, sh a mace, a shield, and a spear. Okay, I'm feeling good now. Okay, this is one of those rooms where you just bloody dodge like mad. This is an actual epic weapon. Attacks just straight up steal 10% HP. So it's the same guy I fought before it is. Okay, this, this one's going really bad. We're definitely struggling with this guy a lot more this time around. Boss defeated. Curse lifted. Oh, when you beat a boss, you actually lose a curse. That's nice. Heal 6% max health when an enemy is killed by the environment. That's amazing. Okay, onwards we go. This is all of a sudden really hard. So now I'm fighting three of those mini bosses at once. And they're being healed. Kill the healer. Need to kill that bloody healer. Oh my God, I need to heal. That was so hard. I need a room with just tons of easy to kill enemies. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. 
Oh my god, that was hard. Lots of traps. Kill the healer. I just can't get the bloody health back that I've lost. I can't sustain. This is like a boss ranged enemy. It's not getting any easier, is it? These levels are getting longer as well. Brilliant, dude. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Where do they come from? No! Oh, slow hands. No! Oh, man. We tried so hard and we got so far. We got 20 skulls this time. I could have done better. We go again. One more time. Plus 40% to all healing effects. That looks brilliant as long as I can get a good healing weapon later on. So we've got an offhand weapon that can heal. So I'm just going to offer blood for this. Well, I'm healing 14 HP per kill now. Very good. Max health and damage. We have the resources. Okay, now I'm healing 17 per kill. 30% damage against poisoned enemies, so this pairs perfectly with my offhand and restores health. So now both my offhand and my main hand heal me. Enemies killed while burning explode. Fantastic. Time to fight Dogman again. Big damn, this guy's getting chunked. Sit. Now I get to choose a curse that I want to remove. Remove volatile remains. Okay, I think I'm having a slightly better run this time around. Fucking hell, I always fall for the idiot trap. Got another curse. Literally the one I didn't want. Five percent max health when you pass through a door. That sounds amazing. Plus twelve percent to highest attribute. I have two thousand two hundred fifty health now. I'm going to be healing so much. Each kill is healing me for thirty-one damage now. <laughs> okay, this got to be a pretty good build. Getting a little bit crazy, though. Nice. Okay, this looks like a different room. I haven't seen this aesthetic. Okay, it's a. Oh, the floor's on fire. So this one, we seem to be on a bit of a time limit. I think we need to kill everything in the room or we fucking d die. Okay, lots of kills. On to the next room. I'm really starting to choke playing this game. It's so intense that I keep mixing up my buttons. I really want to try and get my health to full before I fight the next boss. I think the enemies in this game are getting way more difficult as this is going on. Oh my god, that's it. Just tank more damage. Last boss of the medium exploration. I'm guessing it's something different. Oh my good god. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, those things explode. Okay. This boss is insanely hard. Okay, that's a pretty cool boss fight. No! I'm gonna die. No! One more hit and I'm dead. No! That was so hard. Oh, I was so close. I think I could do it if I did it the next time. It took me a long time to actually figure out the mechanics. I know if I was to attempt it again, I could probably do it. But man, it was so close. My heart's racing. My hands are shaking. I'm sweating. That was intense. So after playing Curse of the Dead Gods for about two and a half hours, my thoughts on the game are as follows. I really enjoyed the general gameplay and combat. The movement and dodging felt very responsive. The animations were tight and it made sense that heavier weapons dealt more damage but locked you in a slower animation. The fact that to regen health and corruption in this game you need to build in a certain way felt very good. Every point of health I recovered through attacks felt so impactful but at the same time if you're really good at the game you could just go for a pure or damage build with no health regen and fight even more effectively. Visually I liked the game's art style, it has a nice dark vibe to it. 
I loved the traps and the ability to use the environment against enemies. Even though it sucks to fail and die, it feels nice that you can collect skulls and have a sense of progression despite a failed run. The game isn't fully finished as of making this video, so perhaps lacks variety in terms of room variations, enemies and bosses, all things that are being worked on for future updates. Maybe I wasn't using them correctly, but I think some of the weapons need additional balancing. Range weapons didn't seem anywhere near as good as melee weapons, and the two-handed mace felt way worse to use than the two-handed spear due to the slow attack speed and animation lock. Overall, I really enjoyed this game, and it's in a very impressive state for something that's literally just came to Steam Early Access. Whilst editing this video, I felt quite frustrated with myself for not beating the second champion, so I'll definitely play more of this game in my spare time. It feels kind Kind of addicting to go back and try new builds or re-roll your RNG until you beat each exploration, and I can imagine that as new weapons, curses, relics, enemies, temples and bosses are added, that feeling of addictive replayability will only improve more. But that's it for this video guys, I know a lot of you have been requesting more non-MMO content, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts on Curse of the Dead Gods in the comments below, and a big thanks to the developers for sponsoring this video. If you like the look of this game, then click the the link in the description below as it helps me out with future sponsorships. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.